Thug. What up, yo? Time is running out. It's the real dope. Let's connect politics. Ditto. What's good with y'all? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Cold thug. Hey, boy, good. Cold up, you heard? Come on, in, 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 in. Hit that button on the way in. About to talk about something that's crazy. We don't talk about the enemies. We don't never talk about the enemies. It wasn't all good, nigga. We wasn't always winning. We got struck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes a good book ain't bad. You heard? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> See what I'm drinking, right? Oh, shit, some lemon water. Yeah. Facts. Facts, man. Coked up, man. It's that button on the way in, man. It's that button on the way in, man. Coked up. Run to the Billy. What's up, man? Boss Dawn, what's up, man? Shout out to the nine. You already know, man. No, you already know, man. No bolt up. Malvo B, what's up? Don Basil, what's up? BX Love, love y'all. You heard? Jose, what's up? Dave Johnson, you already know. Triple A. You know what I'm saying? Honorable, honorable. I see you. All right. Ray Long Rivera, yeah. J Mac. You know what I mean? What's good with y'all? You all right? Man, child, woo, sound like a rough one, you heard? Word up, salute, 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 NWA, salute, big homie, NWA, all right? Blood, love, what's up, man, nine shots, big homie, man. First and foremost, man, I want to um, congratulate, um, I want to congratulate Mario Machete and my son Pirate, you know what I'm saying, OG, from out of Fort Green. they're doing their first HBO show. A documentary on um, it's called "Feel My Pain" in the city. I was invited to go, but I had to do a couple other things. I had to, you know, what I'm saying, um, pay out a uh, wait supposedly today, and um, you know, what I'm saying it's crazy, but um, yeah, man. So I want to touch on the topic about you know everybody got these war stories about they doing this and doing that, doing this and doing that. You heard they did this like they never took a loss. Niggas took losses, man. We had some people that was problems. We had some people that was problems on it. Tay calling me right now. Can you tell Tay to stop calling me? Okay. CO? Okay. You heard me, CO? I got you. Because I'll burn this shit down again. All right. All right. Back to the drawing board. Where you at, Flip? <laughs> yo, that's what me and Flip do. Yo, that's what me and Flip do, you hear me? Uh, yo, shout out to John, John Meat, John Mezzies. Yo, KK, you still ain't email me. I got the schools. You know what? Yo, hit my, hit my, I got a new, I got a new Instagram. OG. Oh, snap, man. I forgot to put, um, what you call them on? I forgot to put, uh, man, Demi's my moderator. You hit my DM? Yeah, I know. Somebody else hit my DM for you, too. I got a new, you know, I got a new joint, but, um, I'm, 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 I'm going to give you all that up. I'm going to give you all that up. Just remind me. Coat up, coat up. Yeah, um, yeah, but, um. Yeah, man. You know, shout out to Mary Machete for their little uh, for their show. It's from eight, it's from eight to nine. They doing a little HBO documentary, you know, series on Feel My Pain. Talk about they past, you know, you know, experience in prison and you know reinvention in New York, things of that nature. But I want to talk about some dudes, right? I want to talk about some particular dudes. What if you see my uh, picture, right? On this topic, you know, notorious out in notorious, notorious enemy. It's a picture of Sabian Glover, Stuck B, which is Sean Price, brother, and me. So, you, yeah, that's when you hit that. When you hit that on YouTube, you're going to see Sabian Glover. Now, Sabian Glover was a Broadway star back in the days. Then he made a movie called The Tap Dance Kid. He had a friend by the name of Hassan um, Tatum. And 
unfortunately, in 19, uh, somewhere in the early 90s, 90, 90, he was um, shot and killed. And um, it was a big, big, you know, um, celebrity article. You know what I'm saying? Um, he played in the movie Tap Dance Kid along with Sabian Glover. Um, well, the suspect they got, or the suspect they alleged to be, was a guy by the name of Ego. Ego was a Hispanic person. I don't know if he was, he wasn't part of a gang, but he had superior leadership. You had other dudes that ran around like the Latin King, Dada, um, Tattoo, Panama, and had his white kid named Irish Patty, um, T45, Heck Tech. These dudes gave, these dudes gave us prop. These dudes was problems in jail. I ain't talking about dudes that we fuck. I'm talking about dudes that, you know, was, was like, you know, they wasn't taking no shorts. You know, they wasn't, they wasn't playing. And you couldn't play with them. You know what I'm saying? Because um, they was dead serious. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't nothing punk about them. There's still no punk about them. And they still hold that type of reputation. So, you know, but <laughs> one, there's only one, like a couple of instances I remember with, uh, with, um, Jay Johnson, we ain't no shorts left without with KK salute. All right, salute y'all, salute you heard Westy. But you know this particular uh, dude, Edgar. You know he's supposed to allegedly, um, allegedly uh, was arrested for the uh, homicide of the tap dance kid, the movie star, uh, in the early '90s, and uh, he didn't speak no English, and he wasn't part of no organization. But he was very, I'm talking about very, yo, very, 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 very racist. If you didn't speak English, you couldn't talk to him, you couldn't look at him, and he was a problem. Because he was a tall, he was young, he was quiet, and he was humble. But he was dangerous. Gave, gave, gave a lot of niggas a problem. In prison, he did. You know, nobody talk about it, but he was one, he was like a real big problem in prison. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I can't, I got paid where respect is due. And he was, you know, he raised a real concern on our nationality. It's black all over Rikers Island, all over upstate. Because he put it in. He put it in. He was quiet, put it in. A lot of incidents that he got. He, he didn't have the upper hand, but he held it down, and I respect him. A couple of incidents, you know, one 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 incident was that I remember when he went to the law library, and um, he came out. We was waiting, you know, niggas was laying for him, and um, it was me, Shower, Scully, um, 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 Haitian, um, Haitian Jimmy, um. Cause you know he really had beef. He, I, he, you know he, he really had beef with some Jamaicans that was really tough. You know what I'm saying? But um, he took his chance. He took his chance. You know he came out. He came in law library. He got ambushed, but he went out. You know what I'm saying? And he did manage to cut a few tools, a cut few. You know what I'm saying? Before getting demolished. But I could always. I remember. <laughs> I can tell you. I remember the look in his face. The look in his eyes, like he loved this type of shit. And that's what I respect about him. What I respect about him the most that he held it down. And he loved that type of shit. You know what I mean? Even though he got twisted. But, you know, and, you know, he seemed to, after that incident in the early 90s in the law library, he seemed to, you know, we all got separated, things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? And everybody went in separate ways. He still continued to make a lot of noise and everywhere he went, you were heard. You were here. Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. Edgar wasn't... Yeah, it was crazy, you know. And then other Hispanic people, you gotta understand, like Dead Eye, Spanish Dead Eye was one of them. He was a Latin king, and um, he was kind of heavy set, and he walked it funny. You heard? He had a Dead Eye, you know. Another one who got busy. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to try to take credit for everything that you know the homies put in and put out. I want to let everybody know two sides to the story because even when Connor and them got up there, you know, off Queens Flip, they didn't really break down the. You know, they they want to seem as if though that they was a lot innocent, but they had some hitters. They had some hitters. 
No, no, I was upset when Connor and I mean, excuse me, all right, Lucifer, Lucifer Brim, appreciate your donation, man, appreciate your donation. I was kind of upset at, um, um, at Connor and them for not saying, yo, no, they should have displayed some type of strength when they went on Queen's Flip, which they tried to portray that it was all about peace, and it wasn't, because they had some hitters. You had, you had Tattoo. You had Spanish Tattoo from East New York. And these dudes grew up with blacks. But when he came to jail, the dudes he knew from the streets, he, it was still beef. It was like still behind enemy lines. So dudes went, they race, I went my race. They went, they raced, we went our race. And that's what caused it. And it was like, damn. You know, we look at each other, damn. Damn, we like, damn. We like, yeah. It's you and me. Like, yeah. And we knew each other from the street. But because of this war, you know, and I can't take nothing, you know, saying from it because it's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that we have to reevaluate ourselves for when it came to that struggle. And one of the things that we changed the entire dynamics of unity when we came about. We changed a total new total of dynamics. I'm not taking nothing from the Muslims. I'm not taking nothing from the 5% of but every last one of Muslims. The 5% is turned blood in the early 90s. Took their kufi off, threw it. 5% was like, I don't know today's mathematics. I know it's peace, blood, all type of stuff. You heard? Because they felt it. They was gravitated to it. Because they said, finally, I can feel as if though I can win. I don't feel oppressed. And when you start taking charge and you start taking initiative to put in force, even when it's little of y'all and you feel invincible against a thousand other niggas, then it makes you feel like you a man. You have dignity. You got morals. You got principles because you're moving forward now. And you're not taking no mess no more. Because you got to understand this. Even then, Muslim brothers, five percenters, they had their little groups. But they were still, I, they were still getting, you know, disrespected by, you know, the Latinos. I'm not even going to lie. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, dudes like, yeah, you on your own. You got to pop one in that, on that nah, son. You know what I'm saying? So the dynamics had changed when blood started coming up and everything started ringing. The bells was ringing on Rikers Island 24-7 hours a day, every day. The fall building, not 1995, every day uh, somebody was putting it in all over, everywhere, and it had to come to one beat. You know what I'm saying? So when the dynamics of that change, it made Hispanics come together more stronger. Even the ones that wasn't the Land King, even the ones that wasn't the Etta, they became an Edgar was one of them. Edgar used to, he was ahead of a lot of things. And he had strength. It had influence and power over organizations that he wasn't even a part of. I seen it with my own eyes. He made you do this, you do that, I'm gonna hit you and do really that. Facts. He was a problem. He was a problem in jail and he was up north, he was still a problem. So I don't wanna take all the weight, I don't wanna take all the credibility. These dudes got busy and gave us problems. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's an old fact. You know what I'm saying? I know a couple of homies, they had scared to come out they cell. They had these niggas scared to make a move. They made niggas sign in. I seen dudes go to spots and did all of that. And I was tight, yes. You know what I'm saying? I was basically in a box. But when I came out, I ate food. You see food, you eat food. That's always my intentions. It wasn't time to work for commissary. It wasn't time to think about visit. It was time to think about war. And that's what my whole life was built about. But yes, we did have some dudes that came through and was like, I think I can chill. Like that. You think I can make a visit tomorrow? You can't think like that. Yo, when commissary? Damn, I got two days? Fuck that. I'm locking in my cell two days. Nobody can't touch me. I want commissary. You can't think like that. This shit's crazy, man. 
You have to come out, you have to search and destroy. You know what I mean? This is the mechanism and the dynamics of a difference between different homies and different bloods and, you know, blood and being blood, blood. Not being blood, but being blood, blood, you heard? So, you know, these are things that, you know, you got you came in contact with. So, you know, like I said, man, and you had Irish Patty, you know, and he was of another race. He was white. There was this the supremacy shit. Now, a lot of white, the, uh, the Irish and the Italians, you never know, but the, the Irish and the Italians went at it like the Bloods and Hispanics. You would never see it. You would thought that they'd be together, but nah, Italians ain't run with the Irish. They went crazy, you know? they, they They started, they went crazy on each other. You know what I mean? We seen it when I was down, I remember when I was downstairs in Mark B. We had a, as Wildcat, we had a, What's the, Ruggiero, we had an Italian dude down there, you know, who didn't like no Irish, but he was, he was, he was in one B with us. We didn't do nothing to him, you know, he was in down there, you know, he think he put some work in on some, you know, Irish people or whatever. He came down to one B, he was laughing at him, we had a joke with him, you know what I'm saying? We ain't oppressed him, you know what I'm saying? He had his own thing going on and he wasn't no sucker neither, but you know, it, it's just crazy that a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff was going on. I, mean, I don't want to take nothing, man. We had some notorious enemies that we had to get by. You know, unfortunately, you know, you know, like we had to get by. Unfortunately, a lot of homies came across these dudes and, you know, and they got smashed. A lot of them signed thing, you know. A lot of them play they sell, you know. Or drop slip on themselves. Things of that nature. I don't, you know what I mean? I know a lot of them, you know, they did, a lot of things came in contact. A lot of things was done like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's crazy. 60s and 70s, biker gangs in New York City. Nah. Angel Perez, man, East Side. Lola Morgan, what's up? They are factions, that's a fact. Positive vibes, yeah, man, positive vibes, man. I just want to touch on, because, you know, we had a lot of notorious. You know, one of the, one of the things that, you know, that um, 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 the power and, you know, the video they had, like, they felt as if though, you know, they was like us. You know what I mean? They felt outnumbered, so they was more stronger. Sometimes when you more outnumbered, you become more stronger. You know what I'm saying? Because you're like, yeah, because you, you got to you know, you really psych yourself up like, yeah. You know, some people don't got that type of mentality. You know what I mean? When I mean, you come in a house full of food, you don't feel as if though you fool. You're not supposed to feel as if though you fool. You're supposed to feel like you're food to eat. Even though you got you got thousand, all this food to eat. That's how you gotta keep thinking. You can't be like, yo, see yo, I ain't going in there. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, man. what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, but you know, one of our worst, you know, notorious enemies was um, you know, you had Dead Eye, you had Tattoo, you had Irish Patty, you know, Irish Patty had the influence on a lot of dudes. You know, I understand this, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, white guys, you know, uh, was so, was minority upstate where I was at in the early 90s. You know what I mean? And like I said, man, I don't know if I told y'all the story about a, a white dude named Adrian. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, me, I don't, I don't take, I don't, I don't take advantage of the weed. You know, I, I never do. I can't. If I go out there and do, you know, and the dude don't want to fight, we ain't going to fight. Because you know you got some dudes, but they got the good ball game. And then when you, uh, and you right there, and they be like, yo, I, I ain't mean, say it like that. I ain't going to press it like you shut up. Like, shut up then. You heard? Stop running your mouth. I'm going to let you go. For real, facts. But I was all about respect as a man. Because I worked for the utility game in B Block Attica. There was a white kid from Nebraska. I'm going to say this again. There was a white kid from Nebraska named Adrian. First of all, his, his name was suspect, you heard? But he was stocky. You heard? He was stocky. And he looked like he would smash you. He looked like a Russian. Blonde hair, blue eyes. He was on my tier. B Block on 22 Company. Attica, everybody know, you know Attica, yeah. He was on Bebop Boom, he was working on a utility game. You know, so, you know, I had a couple of dudes from Brooklyn. You know, that was God Body. You know, they was using the term God Body. Named, you know, one dude named Wise, Twin. Twin was like the head of the God Bodies upstate, all of that, you know, yeah. 
uh, King of the Law, you had um, Prince, you had, you had a lot of dudes, you heard? But this particular incident on my tier, on my block, white kid, I semi became associated with him because he was quiet, he was respectful, and so therefore I felt I... I felt, I ain't going to lie, I felt I was obligated in some way, somehow, to, like, look over him. You know, he had a big, he had a, like, little Cuban link chain on with a cross on it. You no, know, dude scheme, I don't think. You know what I mean? But they kept seeing him interacting with me, and they see that I wasn't doing nothing wrong. I wasn't on that robbery stuff in jail. I wasn't, I had time for no robbery and stealing stuff. I ain't never do none of that. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't, that wasn't the war we was fighting. We wasn't fighting that type of war. We didn't take advantage of that type of war. That's why I blew a lot of homies that was doing that. They were sneak thieving. And they was robbing people. Because now they start to press. So I blew a lot of homies in search of that. And I wasn't questioned. I wasn't bribed. Yeah. I wasn't questioned or none of that. Because that's not what it's about. This wasn't about robbing and stealing. And taking advantage of other people. So the white kid was on my tier. Her and what's his name, Adrian? No, he was in jail. No, we, we started talking and he started telling me about he was from Lincoln, Nebraska. And I said, what you doing way in New York? And he told me. And he taught me how to do stocks and bonds. He said, yo, I was in here because I'm a blue collar type of person. So I said, oh. So he started coming to my cell, you know, everything, you know, you know hit me, you know, like, you know. You know, like, you know, showing me things, things of that nature. But I don't think that I made it seem as obvious that I messed with him like that because of who he was, because of because he got taken advantage of it. I'm, I'm going to get to that. So, you know, Adrian, you know, we used to go to a utility job together, you know, dump garbage, things of that nature. And, I, and that's the time the COs had these sleeves rolled up, you heard? And they had the black babies with the rope around their neck, you hear me? And I used to ask Adrian, what you feel about that? He said, man, that's so disrespectful. They said, they roll these sleeves up on purpose all the way up so we can see it. You heard? With the babies on their arm, with the rope around their neck. There was a couple of them running around there, especially Iceman. Y'all remember Iceman, right? In Lakeview, same thing. Well, you know, a lot, I guess the law came out, they had to take it all. But anyway, make a long story short, right? So Adrian, you know, uh, came to work with me. You know, in the utility gang, where the dumpster's at. Um, you know, he used to tell me little things about, you know, his, his life back in Nebraska. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a very conversational person. I don't care what race you are. Um, so he told me about stocks and bonds. He's like, yo, I got caught on a bond scam. Or, you know, I did some stocks and they ran my credit card, whatever. And he had to do a little punk, a little punk ass two and a half to five or something. Or five or something, you heard? I know it was a lot of money that he got caught with, about over 100,000, 150,000, something like that. He took, he had to pay back when he get out. Things like that. So boom, you know, but his family used to look out for him. His family used to send him money, he with the commissary, heavy, boom, boom, and things of that nature. He was, oh, he was a quiet kid. When we offered me down, now I'm on good. You know what I'm saying? So one day he came to the, one day we went to work and he came out and he was quiet. So I saw it in his face. What's, what's up? He said, you know, you know, no disrespect, man. But I know y'all in here. I'm, I'm outnumbered. I said, what are you talking about, Adrian? He said, yeah, man. You know why I was in my cell and took, and took my um, radio. I said, what? He's like, okay, but I ain't got no wins, man. I, I know I beat that more. I said, yo, man, I don't like that thing. Sneaked even? Nah. I said, I tell you what, oh, buddy, you heard? That's what I said to him. I said, I'm going to tell you something, buddy. I ain't that type of nigga. I'm not that type of dude. So what I'm going to do is when we go back, because, you know, when we go back from utilities from garbage and all that, we are able to stay on the tear. What the police do is have our cells open, each one of our cells open, for the shower, they lock the front gate, and we be on the tear just running around. Whoever getting the shower, you get in the shower. You know how that shit is upstate. And that's just how it is in Attica. You know what I'm saying? So I said, yo, when they lock the gate, you go in there, smash them, get your radio out. Get on, nobody going to jump in. Nobody going to do nothing. You heard? Things of that nature. That's what it's going to do. Because I don't like Steve Thieving. I don't allow Steve Thieving around me. I don't care what race you is. 
That's how I am. And that's a whole fact. And if Adrian was listening now, he'd be like, he's telling the truth. I never lie. I ain't never lie on here. This is why I say these stories, you heard? I never lie. <laughs> Let me make a long story short. So what? eventually we went back. CEO let us out. They locked us in. They locked us inside the gate. Opened ourselves. Opened the shower. So I stood at the front gate. Wait till the police disappeared. I said, Adrian, go get your shit. He said, you got me, son. I said, don't worry about nobody in this jail. Nobody. Go get your shit. Went to the thing. We went inside the wire cell while I was taking all his bunk, taking all his clothes. All you were, oh, fuck. I had to tell him, at one point, oh, slow down, man. Don't kill a nigga. I had to run your dog, kill nigga. Just take your shit and get up. You know what I mean? He got up. Wise got up, ran out the cell. Don't run down here, nigga. The nigga stood outside the cell, bent over, busted lip. Bust his head, I, and I said, yeah, nigga, you know you ain't supposed to see, I, what, what happened? It's a one-on-one. -on -one. You took that man's shit, why you ain't go? what's up? You give up? <laughs> oh, man, who you expect for us to jump, him? Nah, nigga, I don't, I don't go, I don't think about, you sneak deep, son, I didn't say it. He took a shower yesterday, you went in his cell, took his radio, he, uh, and take his food and all that, all right, so what? You know what I mean? Go and get your stuff. You you took your stuff, right? I said, yeah, I know you tired. That nigga winded you, huh? <laughs> that nigga went in his cell, packed all the stuff up that he got, took everything that he took from him. Some of the stuff he ate, the rappers and all that was still in there. But that white boy, white man going in, take his stuff, take his own food, take his thing, and went back in the cell. And it was quiet from there. Until the next day. I still don't give a fuck about that. So now, he goes and tell all the blacks, all the god bodies, yo, KK, let this nigga beat me up. I said, I don't give a fuck about none of that. We going to the yard. So Adrian's like, are you going to the yard with me? Come on. You okay? I said, don't worry about that, huh? He go joint, bang. I gave him a joint, boom, boom. These niggas ain't going to do nothing, you heard? The twin was the, like the head of the guard bodies in the whole. If y'all know twin, you know he was head one. Had twin with the long dread, black twin with the long dread, been down since the seventies probably. You know what I'm saying? But he was there. So you know, when we came outside for rap, they all was grouped up. Wise went running over there like a scurvy and rat. You heard? Yeah, I said, yeah, I wanted to go tell. Boom. So now, you know they over there talking, so we spit in the yard, me, white boy, you know, I got a couple of hitters behind me, some homies, you know, boom, I said, yeah, nigga, what these niggas are out of here? What the fuck? What the fuck, you heard? What these niggas are out of here? I did, niggas, they wasn't moving like that. They knew better. They already know how it was back then. So they was like, oh, they're skeptical about even think about trying to move it on a big homie, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So anyway... We spent the yard. Twin was like, yo, Kate. He had his hands up like this. He said, okay, killer, let me talk to you, please. I said, of course you could. I said, your rest of y'all spin. I had my joint on me. The rest of y'all spin. It's me and Twin going to talk. What's up? He said, yo, I understand that. I know where you're coming from. We don't want no beef. Why is it stupid? I said, yo, I'm saying, you know what it is, Twin, man. Y'all supposed to be righteous. That's supposed to be righteous. You're supposed to be teaching us how to be righteous. But y'all always doing some bun. Y'all this dude's doing some mook stuff, you heard? Going to people's cell, taking their stuff, things. That's not righteous. Y'all call yourself gods. You call yourself gods, man. And y'all supposed to live righteous. I don't care if he's white. Because y'all consider them the devil. That's 5% of consider white people the devil. But I still don't consider sneak thief. I don't condone in it. I don't care what you believe in it. If you want a man stuff, don't do sneak even stuff. Do some man stuff. Go in the cell and go in there. Boop, 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 boop. I want this. Boop, 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 boop. That's what I respect. I don't, res I don't condone in you sneak even. That's a sneaky. Sneak even is a, 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 a disgraced character when you do that. And he said, you know what, man? He said, yo, you're right. I said, come on, son. I don't care if you don't like white. 
But you're not going to sit here and abuse your authority and sneak these things that we don't do to nobody. Because that's not manly. Yo, KK, man, I got respect. I knew twin for mad years, but you know, I don't care about going to war with niggas out with new for mad years. I don't care about none of that. Because that best friends do the best to each other. The ones you gotta work, you gotta you gotta watch out for. But I wasn't caring about what he felt about that. The principle was you stole and sneak stole somebody's stuff in their cell, and that's a violation. Like nobody jails like that's a violation. That's it. It's a violation. To make a long story short, you know what I'm saying? He went back, talked to Wise, and I was like, you know what, man? I'm not... But you know, everybody stopped me now. I can't don't do nothing. I said, I'm going to get this nigga off my tail, you heard? No, I can't, don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? He doing some moop stuff, you know what I mean? Running the nigga's cell when they ain't in there. Like, you know, taking clothes off and jumping in bed and shit. So I think. <laughs> A moot stuff. When you sneak in somebody's cell, that's moot stuff to me, bro. What's wrong with you? What you doing in my cell when I ain't there, nigga? You know what I'm saying? What you doing in my bed, nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you doing in my bed, nigga? Word up. Coming out the shower, nigga, in your bed like this. What's up? You heard? Your ass up out of here. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, make a long story short, um, you know what I'm saying? I got a, uh, went back to the housing area, you know what I'm saying? And you know, eventually, um, you know, I, I told, you know, I told Adrian, I was like, no, you don't want to just be on point watching, you know what I'm saying? But he was scared not to do nothing after that because he knew he had no wins, you know what I'm saying? So he was quiet. I think eventually he dropped a slip on himself and he wanted to just packing up going to the other side, you know what I mean? To C block or something, girl. You know, he was there for like two days later, quiet. You know what I'm saying? Because he worked on a utility gang with us too. You know what I mean? So he wound up eventually dropping the slip, you know, putting in the transfer and going to C block. And these are the type of things I got to go through and that I see, you know, that goes on in jail that I don't, I wouldn't allow on anybody. You know what I'm saying? That's what I don't do. You know what I mean? I know a lot of dudes that was up north taking sneakers and things of that nature. You know, that's good because they took it physically. You know what I'm saying? But a coward way to do anything is to sneak in someone's cell like a mouse and run out. And that's, oh no. You gotta go, because that's a mook move. That's a mook move. Those are mook moves. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> coward. Brian, coward that sour. You know what I'm saying? What the fun? <laughs> what the fun? <laughs> See, are you laughing at me? Yeah, boo. You all right? Yeah, good. Is it your stomach all right? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm you want to go to the hospital? No, I'm good. Your stomach been hurting for a couple of days. I don't like that shit. Yeah, man. But yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. I just want you to know. Yo, that's a whole fact. That's a whole fact. But you know, I tell stories. Let me tell you something. I tell real stories. I don't sugarcoat stories. I don't get enough out of sugarcoat nothing. I don't get nothing out. I can't, I don't know how to lie. That's why I don't cheat. I don't cheat because I don't know how to cheat. Every time I try to cheat, the CEO caught me. I can't hide it. I can't. I, I feel funny. I'm I'm slow, you know? Fuck. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't even cheat. I'll be like this, this. So I'm always getting. She always going inside my head when I look at TV wrong. You heard? What the fuck? What the fuck? You heard? <laughs> I don't know how to lie because I don't know how to cheat. You know, I don't even know how to cheat. Crazy. I don't think I don't ever think about it. But I said, I'm going to get caught and get beat up and her beat up so I ain't doing it. <laughs> Hurry up. You know, don't, don't act like KK ain't never did it and got caught. And yes, CO put beats on. I had to run. You know what? I'm, I ain't going front. 
I got, I, you know what I'm saying? And it, a lot of chicks that know me, that know my girl, they stay away from me and they like me. They be like, no, KK, oh, hell no. You ain't leaving me for dead, sure enough. But when she on up, I'm out of there, y'all. She, she ain't the same. She an alien. She a beast. I don't know what comes out of her. Her voice is different. Her strength is stronger. And every time I try to break her up, I get worse, you heard? So I just be on you heard? Straight coward, man. I ain't going to that shit. You heard? I ain't fucking with her and shit. That's why I ain't putting nobody in danger. I can't put nobody in danger. So I refuse to put somebody else in danger, you heard? Because they're going to talk about me. Yo, KK ran on me. Got me beat up. He getting no more of this. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm Word up. I don't know how to lie and I don't know how to cheat. I ain't even gonna lie. I get caught all the time. So that's why I don't do that. I can't you I look different. I look different. I talk different if I try to lie. I look talk walk head different. Everything is just discombobulated. My bad, what 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 the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, KK, you lying, you heard? <laughs> you know me? And you know me, you know, I can't, you know, I, I try to do it. And, you know, and that first time it happened, you know, I cheated, I tried cheating one time, and you know what I'm saying? Came in the house, you know, she looked at me, smelled me, looked at me, she said, you cheating. And she, I knew she was right, but I was like, get the fuck out of here. So I can see it all over your face. And then we saw a fight, I said, like, God. Damn, I came behind it, you heard? It's over. I can't fucking look at no girls, don't talk to no girls, no nothing. <laughs> I can't hold the expression. I can't hold the expression. So I, I don't do it. I don't do it. So I stay with my wife, you heard? Salute. <laughs> I stay with my Salute, you heard? I got to stay with my motherfucking wife. For the rest of my life, man, I do love her. But you know how niggas get curious. But you can't even get curious. If I start thinking like that, she can see the expression of my face. What are you thinking about? Like, what? And she be right. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, what you thinking about? What the smile on your face. I'm like, God damn, we in the fucking house? How the fuck? And she be right. I'm like, I ain't thinking about nothing. It's something I see on TV. I'll be looking, you know? She's like, what you looking at? Why are you thinking like that? I'm like, oh my God. I can't win. I can't win, so I don't fucking try, you heard? You know what I'm saying? That's why I've got a blindfold around here. Where them blindfold at, you know? Gotta see through. <laughs> you heard? I can't do it. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I can't fucking do it. I mean, I always get caught. Every time I tried, I got caught. Don't matter. If I lied, I got caught. If I cheat, I definitely got caught, you heard? I don't know how to hide it. She know. I come in the house, she be like, what the fuck? Nigga, is you serious? And she be right, I be like, I don't even want you talking about I'm going to sleep and shit. Nah, nigga, you ain't going nowhere. You getting the fuck out. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> what the fuck? I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to stop cursing. That's why I'm all, y'all don't make no money off of YouTube. I got so much yellow. I don't know how to manipulate. I don't care about that stuff no more, you heard? I don't think about that, man, you heard? I don't get no money off of YouTube. No. I be violent. They gonna shut me down soon, you heard? <laughs> they shut my Instagram down, you heard? This is hell crazy, because I'm too real. That's what it is, man. I'm too real for this, man. They don't like that, you know what I'm saying? But they do know I bring a lot of money, a lot of viewers, but they don't like the way I be feeling sometimes. I be telling, they say, I'm telling, they, I'm too real for you too, man. You know, a lot of people say, yo, yo, thank you for the donation. Um, Vin, Born Visible, salute. Junior's Towing, salute. Yo, of course, CEO Lisa know me good. We've been together since I was 19. She was 20. She was 21. I was 19. You know what I mean? She 51. I'm 50. You know what I'm saying? We been. We know each other. We know each other. You know what I mean? It's, it's over. This is the end. You heard? The end is. That's who I'm. A, that's who I'm gonna die with. You heard? It's my last day. You heard? I did everything in the world. You heard? I had everything in the world. I did everything in the world. 
I had everything in the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm just living a modest life now. I just want to stay young, stay in shape. You know what I mean? I know that's why I work out a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm hitting the bag today. Poop, poop, poop. You know what I'm saying? Hit the bag. I worked out for like two hours a day. Ran the treadmill. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow I go back. Today I rest. Tomorrow I go back. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You know, I got to stay sharp. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Remember, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to stay sharp, man. You know what I mean? A lot of people work out to look good. I work out to stay in shape. I got to work out to be... You know what I mean? I got to tone in. You never know when you got to go a few rounds with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? So you got to... You heard? You got... You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> CK know, you heard? That's my son, but CK know, you heard? He, he know how to avoid these punches, you heard? <laughs> He know. He said, yo, cake, no, cake. I'm fuck with no cake, cake. He know I don't play games with things, you heard? <laughs> That's my son, you heard? He know. You know what I'm saying? Word up. He know. Cheers to him. Cheers to CK. Where you at, nigga? Don't be sleep now, nigga. Nerd, I should make you come get me, nigga. What's up? <laughs> yeah, man. But, uh, facts. Facts. Word up, man. But, uh... Yeah, man, you know, there, there was there was a lot of challenges ahead of us in, in prison. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of these dudes didn't take no way. I can't take all the credit. We can't take all the credit that we did a lot of things. We got busy. Yes, we did. And we had to. But there was other dudes that was arch enemies, notorious, that brung it to us too. And it was like, boop, boop. You know, it was like, you know, you had, they were spaced out. One over here, one over here, boom, boom. They was in groups. You know, they ate food because they, they, they had the advantage. So when they had the advantage, boom, it, it, it struck it struck a terror more. Like, phew, like, oh, son got hit? Who hit son? Agu. <laughs> what? Teeth moving son. What? Dinner. You heard? These dudes was going at it. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't think that. You know what I'm saying? It was vice versa, man. I don't like taking, I take, I give credit where credit is due. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I give credit where credit is due. I and mean, this is what this is about, man. This is about, you know, this is about expanding in truth and telling and things of that nature that, you know, you don't make yourself seem as big as that. You never have no, um, what they call that, faults or flaws. Yes, we, you got to have flaws. In order to overcome a very good story, you got to show your flaws. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know. Just like I said, man. There was, there was times where I fought, knew I lost, but the crowd said I won. But in, event, in time, yes. Because you got to, sometimes I fight to the point where it's that my loss may seem like a win. And this is how I always want to go out. Even if I do lose, so I do got to take losses. But make your loss seem as if though you still won. This is how you got to rock your whole life. You know what I'm saying? In order to stay all, stay, stay, you know, stay ahead. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? But admit it, take responsibility. And some of the things that I was taught when I went to ART, you now I used to try to go to ART when I was upstate in prison because I wanted like trailer visits back with my CO, you heard? And you know, I try to come out and try to do good, you know. In a match, you can move around because the bloods had it locked up there. They was it was flooded, you know. The matches was good. The mediums, no, you can't do that. Can't do the mediums. You get torn up. You know what I mean? You ever got swarmed by a bunch of mosquitoes? You know what I mean? You went to a a, 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 a mosquito infested field, then you try to run and run. That's how they will be on you. <laughs> If you go through there, if you don't eat food and you go through there like anything all right, you're going to get swarmed like the killer bees, you heard? So you got to be careful about how you maneuver, what place, how, and what time. You got to calculate your distances. You got to calculate your, your space, your movements. You got to do a lot of things, man, when it comes to warfare, man. So, you know, you know what I mean? It's a good thing that, you know, I, I kind of stayed above and stayed ahead of things. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, and I was fortunate, you know, to 
to, to have more wins than losses. Dude, because that's what made you. That's what made me. You know what I mean? That's what made me. You know what I mean? It's like more wins, you know. If I if I lost a bat, boom, I got boom, boom. I'm like, oh, I'm in a box now. I can't get to this nigga like one to. But I knew he got the best of me. So I'm like, the next three motherfuckers is out of here. That's how I used to think. And I said, boom, 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 boom. They forgot about what they, what they forgot. After that, they forget about what happened to you. Because you done made up ten times more. I mean, this is how you got to start thinking. You know I mean, you can't go for tick for tat. Tick for tat. It's gonna balance it out, like oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, you see, you know, you gotta do shit to the extreme, to the point where it's that people say, yeah, you got hit, but you hit like eight niggas after that. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at life. I don't know about everybody else, you know? Right? But I know some people that think like me. You know what I'm saying? I know some people honestly that think like that. I know somebody that, I know people that think probably better than me on that type of topic and that type of feel. You know what I'm saying? And if I do, you know what I'm saying? Those are the ones I still respect and look up to. You know what I mean? And honor as well. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what it is. Yeah. But on this YouTube channel, right, you know, the Notorious Enemies is um, Saving Global. I mean, if I get a chance... Look that story up. It's deep. Very deep story, man, about Broadway star Hassan Tatum. He was age 18, right? I'm going to read something to you, right? Um, that's the one I played in the star, the tap dance kid. Um, he was 18 years old. He was killed on July 24th. Uh, a sniper fired a machine gun. This is public public information. It's not, you know, it's in a newspaper. Uh, uh uh, a sniper fired a machine gun at his black BMW sedan, which he had bought on his 18th birthday with the money he saved during his four years as an understudy in a Broadway show, The Tap Dance Kid. And he became close friends with Savian Glover. And uh, him and Savian Glover became, uh, you know, a movie star, movie icon, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, in his field. So, Saving Glover is the guy that's on the front of this actual YouTube channel. He's the light-skinned guy on the far end. Now, this picture was taken with Stuck B, which is Sean Price. Yo, shout out to Sean Price, you heard, from Brownsville, you know, boot camp click. You know what I mean? Smith & Wesson, Buckshot Shorty, Steel, Tech, they Uncle Ruler. Rule. Rule, rule, rule. I talked, text him last night, Ruler. Ruler home and shit, you know what I'm saying? Ruler did like 28, 29 years. He just came home. Um, yeah, but uh, you know, the alleged government in this was a was a fuck he was a problem. You know, Edgar was a problem. He was a problem in jail. You know, we we tend to forget about these dudes, but we I don't. You know what I mean? As you see, and as you know, I seem to bring up the validity of the strong and texture of you know, current events. So, you know, and past events. And this is this is all I remember when I was a kid, when it was real in the field. You know what I'm saying? With these dudes that was notorious for doing and you know, doing things in the street and in prison and in jail. So was me. Doing stuff in the jail in, in the street, coming to jail, turned up, go to upstate, turned all the way up. You know what I mean? It was levels to this stuff, you heard? You know, street. Turn, Rikers Island, turned up. Upstate, turned all the way up. Three levels to this stuff, you heard? And there was others like this, you know, there was others like this in the same format and matter. So, you know, I don't want to ever take nothing from like, I did this, I did that. Oh, uh, did that, nah, 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 I got poked, I got stabbed, you know? I ain't never told, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never went to IPC or PC because at the time of these incidents, I, they couldn't get me off of them. If a dude, bump, go all right, bing, you know, it's on and popping right there. So there's no time to go to IPC. There's no time to go to PC. That's what I'm saying with me. That's how I wore. Some people wore different. Some people wait around for stuff to happen. 
And when it happens, they got it, they're entitled to go to IPC. Not saying that they solve, it's just that they waited too late to think. And I didn't wait too late to think. It had to go on right then and there. I was always on cock and go. Cock and go. I cock that and go. That's how I was. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say everybody is soft because they went to IPC. But I'm just saying, now nah, you go to PC or something different because now you just gave up all your rights to say, I want to be protected. That's the difference. IPC is involuntary protective custody. Somebody can hit you or cut you and you don't move it at, at that moment. And you, you, you know, because then they're going to hold it down. Hold it down. Some dudes hold it down, but oh, and they be leaking. And then they go to their cell. Then the police come. You know, now if you got time to think about, all right, I'm going re I'm to I'm um, retaliate, you heard? Then you got time to think about, okay, I got away with this. Now he got to come back out of the cell on the next lockout. And boom, now we're going to do it because now I can get my stuff out. And boom, boom, yeah. And then y'all go at it again. And then you wind up going to the box. But sometimes a lot of dudes got cut. Now if you get cut or you get hit and the police see you in a mix behind it, and they see y'all because you ain't giving up and you fighting, boom, 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 boom. Then you are entitled to go to IPC, which is involved protective custody. Because when you refuse PC or you refuse medical help or anything that they, they put you in IPC. It's called involved. That's what happened to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Now, the difference, like me, I got admitted. Now, this is different. What happened with me, and, and this, everybody know that. My label, a lot of times, was administrative segregation. Administrative segregation is a high security risk. Uh, administrative segregation, if you get administrative segregation on you, administrative segregation is a person with high, a higher uh, um, classification in prison because they have influence on jails. Uh, fluence with violence, they are more violent than a regular or, you know, a moderate inmate, and they become admin sag. Like, people used to drop slips. When I used to come to jail, when I used to go to prisons, if I hit somebody back on Rikers Island like five years ago and I come to a prison, and a person's like, yo, killer just landed in A block, but you know, he in quarantine. He got two, three days. He got to see the better we going to come out. Niggas be like this, oh, they drop a slip to the counselor or to the superintendent. Be like, yo, I want him in and he cut me. And then they put me in administrative segregation. That happened to me a lot of times. Whole fact. Now, I'm going to keep it real with you. Administrative, administrative segregation is really in impossible. It's really in IPC vicinity. You got, they separate administrative segregation and IPC. The funny thing about administrative segregation, they, you, listen, the funny thing about administrative segregation, I'm going to break it down to you. Administrative segregation, you are in population with IPC, but you don't have the same rules. Now, when you get admin said, you don't get commissary, you don't get focused, they treat you like you're in a box, like you're the bad person. And you didn't do nothing. If somebody just dropped a slip on you and said, I don't want him in his prison. He's a threat to me. He did this to me. They will come to my cell, tell me to pack up, put me in admin set, and send me to admin set. And they would take my privileges. No commissary, no phone calls, all that. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't do nothing. But at IPC, they get commissary. They get phone calls like they in population. They even get different rec. They keep it separated. You know what I'm saying? But y'all be in the same vicinity, though. But administrative segregation, they'll put you in there fast. That's a whole fact. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it real. KK never lied, y'all. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but that's how it is. That's how it is in upstate. You know what I mean? It's different. You know what I'm saying? Kobe Bryant, what's up? Most real big fool, get that treatment, whether it's on rules or up top. What's up? But it's an awesome way to manipulate younger people and gain advantage. So most scatter men will always pray on the week. You know what I mean? Facts, honorable, BL, what's up, most care. 
It's a girl named Jason and Wynn. What are you talking about? A girl named Jason Wynn. Huh? Hey, yo, aunt, 187, son. Word, son? Yo, you fool. Yo, aunt. Yo, send man food at aunt. Send man food at aunt. He called my government, Eugene, see? Hey, yo, see yo. See yo. I'm about to put this shit on fire. Where my light at? Yo, see yo. Yo, they calling me Eugene. They calling me Eugene, what? That? Why? Yo, my lighter. Took my lighter. Word up. Took my lighter. Yo, stop playing with me. Yo, stop playing with me. If I blow this up. If I blow y'all up, you heard? <laughs> I'll blow y'all up right now. Yo, send man food at Ant 187. Man, food. He fool, you heard? <laughs> Grapes, bananas, cupcakes, all that. He can definitely get pretzels. Crack the pretzels upside his head. Call me Eugene, Ant. Like Ant called me Eugene. He don't forget nothing. It was all a dream. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? Shout out to y'all, too, man. I love y'all. You heard? I ain't going to be on here long. What's good with y'all, man? We'll have a conversation for a minute, man. You heard? Hit that like button, man. I 500 something in here, man. What y'all want to talk about, man? Anything. You heard? <laughs> for Bullet Runner Crip or Fade, what does that mean? I don't even know what that mean, man. You got CK Groupies in here? Get them niggas, get them niggas mad food, you heard? Word. <laughs> get that nigga eggplant, you heard? Pfft, you heard? You know what I'm saying? CK Good, we talking this morning, man, like 4 in the morning. I was out there, you heard? I came in the house like 3.20. He got on like 5. You know when it's Batman shit, you heard? Told the nigga, yo, you know where I'm at. Yo, I should come get you. So come get me, man. You know where I'm at. Yeah, and that's, that's a little ride, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to CK, man. Shout out to Wildcat. Shout out to my son, Original Wayno. Shout out to Wayno. Well, Wayno, man, where you at? I think Wayno at work, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Salute to Machete, Mario, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the real, shout out to the real, yo. Um, um, Shaquel in my prayers, man. I haven't heard from him in three days after this operation. And I'm scared, you know, I'm getting kind of leery. You heard? I'm getting concerned. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting concerned as a big homie, you know what I mean? And other, you know, dudes that's in the street, you know, are raising concern too about Sean Quell. So, you know, praise up for Sean Quell, man. I hope you are right. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, praise up, man. Like I said, man, we gotta this make you more conscious about your wealth. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that's dying in their sleep. There's a lot of people that's dying of natural. Natural causes, man. And you know, sometimes the deep I think about the stuff that we put into our bodies, I be thinking like cereals and, you know, microwavable foods and all this stuff. It's like they got some type of cancer in that's killing us off. You know what I'm saying? It's something that's in these type of stuff. This food is not natural. These foods, is, this food, is, this, these foods is processed, the meat and everything. You know what I mean? All that stuff. You know, I got, man, I don't know if can see you. Well, you know, we got we got so much meat in here. I don't even like eating stuff. Yo, look at this, man. Like, this is ridiculous. You know what I mean? I remember when I used to come home. I remember when I used to... I remember when... See, that's why I drink a lot of water. I drink water. It's all this. Fruits, stuff, things of that nature. You heard? Yeah, man. That's how my refrigerator look. You hear me? <laughs> Commissary day. But I keep water... I try to drink at least. Yo, listen, listen to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on something. Someone sent me, someone sent me a Japanese guideline. They said nobody, do not, nobody. Damn, I'm on the phone. I can't cut it off, but I sent it. Warm water. Never drink cold water no more. I want everybody stop drinking cold water. No more cold water. Cold water causes a lot of effects in our body, in our organs. Warm water. It's from a Japanese. Warm water. Japanese be living like 200 years. 
You ever noticed that? Go to China. They live like 200 years. They're the longest living species. For real. But I got a Japanese layout for diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, uh, cholesterol, all that. They said drink warm water all the time. Two glasses in the morning, right? You drink two glasses of warm water in the morning. Wait 45 minutes before you eat a regular breakfast. Do that every day for 30 days. Guarantee you, you're going to feel a difference. Mmm. You hear that? You hear that? Facts. You know what I mean? I, 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 let me tell you something about, you know, yoga and all that stuff. Y'all be thinking it's so far-fetched. Let me tell you something. Black, black people got to start. You know, like, we don't take the time to study other cultures in advance of how, why. You know what, man? I used to live in a prison town, right? I lived in a prison town in Elmira for mad years, man. Shout out to Elmira, you heard? Shout out to the L, man, because I love Elmira. I used to live up there. I got My kids look like Fruity Pebbles, you heard? <laughs> By these white girls, huh? But shout out to Elmira, you heard? <laughs> but let me tell you something. What I used to hate seeing. They got a park out there in Elmira. It's called Eldridge Park. And in the middle of the park is a pond, and it's, I think it's connected to, uh, what's that big lake out there? I forgot the lake that's out there, you know. It's over there by five points, but it, it's related to a lake out there. Big, big lake. Y'all know that? I know that, you know the lake that's up there? And um, past um, 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 Watkins Glen and all that? But anyway, we got a big pond in Eldridge Park. If you run around a whole park, it's like one point, one mile, point three, you know, centimeters or meters or something like that, right? So when you run around that park one time, you did a mile and some change. I used to run around that like eight to ten times a day. You heard? Only about three, four years ago. Three, four years ago. You know what I mean? I haven't run that hard like that since. Now I'm going to take that from you. But I did run. I used to run. And every time I used to run about, I get do some pad work. Bing, 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 bing. Because I used to train kids. So what I didn't like is that I never seen, I never see older black people jogging. But I would see 60, 80 years old White people jogging. I'm not being racist, nothing. But I'm like, why are you always jogging? I ain't gonna lie. Of course, they get snatched up, run over by the car sometimes. I'd be seeing that. But I'd be like, yo, the intent in life is to stay healthy. This is what we look at. I look at the. I look at the intent. The intent is what I look out, look at for. You know what I'm saying? Well, the intent is that I'm trying to stay in healthy as long as I could. We got to start doing that. We got to start jogging, doing seven, eight miles at 70 years old, 80 years old. We got to start doing that, man. We got to start in corporate things, man, because we a dying breed. We a dying breed. Not only that, man, educate yourself too, man. Start reading books that's good. Stop looking at television so much. Let me start picking up books on self-help. You know what I mean? Word. We got to start in corporate our mind and in corporate our health, and we're going to feel better about ourselves. Mm, that's a fact. Our mind, our health, and our self. Facts. You know what I mean? This is what I'm doing right now for 2020. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay healthy. I'm trying to stay vigilant, focused. You know, I, I want to I want to be as if though I could be like 20 without taking no medication. I'm at 50 years old. When I look like and I feel like I'm about 30, 35. You know what I mean? I know how I used to feel when I was 18, 19. I was a road runner, you heard? Road runner, beep beep, beep beep, you heard? <laughs> but I know I don't feel that way and I probably won't ever get to feel that way again, but like in my mid 30s, 35, you know, it was, it was still, it was still precise, you know? And it depends on how much work you want to put in, how much you want to take care of your body more, because you know, as the older you get, the more stuff you obtain. So when you contain this type of stuff, you gotta work with the, you gotta work with the, you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be subtractive and 
allowing things to come and, and, and flood your body and you know, ruin your body. These things you got to do, man. You know, I do is like, yo, you work out to look good. Now I work out to stay in shape, man. You got to work out to stay in shape. You know what I'm saying? Fast. Vegan diet is good. What about keto? What about keto? I've been looking at keto. Keto is good? Is keto good? Running for police is major workout. Word. Throw an egg at the car. Every time I talk about, like, yeah, man. But after they catch you, man, you on a long-term rest. You're going to have to run again. <laughs> what about a keto? We heard about keto. K-E-T-O. You know what I'm saying? Keto no good. So vegan is better. What's vegan? You know what I mean? Vegan is good. What I do is I allow myself to eat like uh yo, I seen a yo, I seen some crazy stuff one day. You heard? Listen to this. I seen dude put lettuce in a bowl. It was on TV, right? They put lettuce in a bowl, added some water, put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds, 20. They took it out, right? And they peeled plastic all off the lettuce. Plastic. I don't know if that was Mediterranean lettuce or the lettuce that I got in there now, but it didn't do on that. But plastic, black seed is very good. Black seed is good. Black seed all works for a lot of things. That's a fact. I'm going to get that because they, they said that's good for your high blood pressure. Black seed oil is good. Yeah, no doubt. But rice, I heard rice ain't that good too. Vegetable, vegetable rice is not good. Uh, uh, doctor told me to lay off of rice. You know what I'm saying? Coconut oil. Word up, Lucifer. You got a meal plan? Yo, the doctor gave me something. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me show you something. The doctor gave me this. Look. Doctor gave me, yo, where that, yo, where that plate, where that place, oh, here you go. This is what I did, right? See this? Doctor gave me this, right? Look what the doctor gave me. You see this? Um, uh, see that? Y'all see that? See the, the portion? This is the size portion that I use when I came here in January, I was overweight in January. So they gave me and my wife this. You heard? My wife threw hers away. Matter of fact, she took this part off and uses a Frisbee. <laughs> but yo, you see this? You mean you got dairy, you got grains and fruit, you got protein, you got vegetables and starchy. They, my hospital gave me this in January because my legs were swollen. Listen to me. My legs were swollen. I was overweight. I couldn't walk. I, I couldn't walk 20 steps without my back hurting. I was twisted when I, I came back to New York. I was over, I was almost 280 pounds. I was overweight. I had high blood pressure and I had breathing problems. So I did this. I did this diet, right? See what you laughing at? My wife threw hers away. You ain't talking about I get to stop and hold me. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, I used to have to walk and hold my wife. But yo, stop walking fast. Fuck, you know my legs is short. But my back was hurting. I couldn't breathe. So I had to go to the hospital. I keep going to the hospital. I tried to get checked for everything. You know what I'm saying? And they put me on the diet. I didn't put me on the diet. They got the gym downstairs. I started just getting eating portions. And the more I kept coming down, the more I became. I started walking more. Man, I was twisted. I started walking more. And then boom. You know what I'm saying? I started, you know, taking care of my health more. But they gave me medication. They gave me metformin because I had a touch of diabetes. They gave me metformin. They gave me uh, high blood pressure pills. I got, man, I got so much... I 
So you gotta be, yeah, hydrochloric. That's for higher blood pressure, high blood pressure. And then you got metformin. Metformin, I don't take those. Cause they said if you if you ain't diabetic like that like that and you take these, they said it gets worse. And I got these for acid reflux. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be taking them just like that. I'm going with natural. I'm going with natural. I'm going with natural things. You know what I'm saying? Proportionate stuff. And I stop eating after six. You heard? You stop eating after six. I'm on my jail shit. I wake up in the morning, six o'clock. My wife wake me up in the morning. Two hard boiled eggs, right? Hard boiled eggs. Um, two pieces of dry toast, raisin bran. You know what I mean? And a couple orange juice. And then, you know, at lunch, I may eat uh, toasted, you know, um, um, turkey, Swiss, cheese, lettuce, tomato, things of that nature. Ben, you know what I'm saying? Tall glass of water. You know what I'm saying? I got water there, so I drink water. Then I chill out. And then, you know, she cooks a big, you know, and then she cook a meal, like five o'clock. And that's it. After that, I'm done. You know what I mean? I got mad munchies up there after that, right? Man, so I be starving for it. I be like this, but I can't do it. No chips, no nothing. Excuse me. Why? No chips, no nothing. Why? Yeah, but that's what that's what I don't. You know what I'm saying? That's what I don't do. You know what I'm saying? So I started losing weight from January. So this January, I lost about, I'm like two, I'm still like 220, I'm 220, you know what I'm saying? I'm 220, but I work out a lot now, you know what I'm saying? A lot of my fat turned to muscle, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what I try to concentrate on, man. I don't want to feel as if though I'm sluggish and, you know what I mean, things of that nature, nah, man, you know what I mean? You know, and I'm going to tell you something, winter is the best time to really get in shape. Really, it's the best time to really get in shape. Really time to put it in. You know, everybody want to look good for the summer, y'all. Everybody, I want to look like an action figure, y'all. <laughs> like this, what the fuck, KK? Got uh, muscles in his butt, y'all. <laughs> yeah, let me stop. Let me stop. That sound a little funny and shit, you <laughs> Muscles in his butt. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, shout out to Queen Split. Where you at, Queens? Where Queen Split at, you heard? Is Queen Split in the house? Did he come on? I love you, Queen Split. I ain't see Yummy up here neither. I ain't see Yummy up here neither, man. Word up. Facts. Yeah, I ain't bugged out, man. You know I'm a bugged out, but I got humor, you heard? Tie boo. Yeah, I tie boo. You already look like Billy Blanks. <laughs> yo, you got, yo, you fool. Yo, you fool. Tyreek the dog fool, man. You heard? Send that nigga a couple of steaks. Send Tyreek the a couple of snakes, you heard? Hit that nigga with food. He fool, Tyreek. You fool, Tyreek, you heard? Billy Blanks. <laughs> yeah, what up, Bunny Man? Barry Man, what's up? Word up. He fool. Yeah, man, go get him. What's up? Live wire, man. Coat up, man. Coat up, man. Yo, man, that's what's up, man. Hit that like button on the way in, man. You heard? I appreciate y'all, man. You heard? Very good, very good topic, man. But yeah, man, you know, I gotta give where credit is due, man. You know, a lot of these dudes was 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 a problem. You know what I mean? A lot of dudes was a problem, man. We had problems with, man. I can't leave them out. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, I can't leave them out. You know, I I would have been, I would have preferred Connor and them that when they did the Latin King interview on Queens Flip. You know, they talked about a lot of their little shooters they had. They had some shooters. They had some shooters, man. Because I feel as if though we had no competition, man, we would have became who we are today, man. 
you know, and 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 you know, the peace treaty that went on during our struggles in prison in the early nineties, the peace treaty, the land kings fell back, you heard? and definitely the Nietas, like boom, they was gone, you know. But you know, it, it was just it's, it was just a blessing. It was just a statement being made, you know, to you know, um, you know, stop to overcome oppression and destruction. That's it. You know what I mean? You know, and that's what had to be done. We got to understand something, man. Some things is meant to be done in order to make peace. Sometimes we got to overcome a lot of things because it just so happened if it was it never was if it never was no you know the homies if it never was blood. What if we would be at now? It still be going on, still be going on with the five percenters and the Muslims, and you know, you know, you gotta understand something that they didn't care about. If you wasn't Muslim, if you wasn't five percenter, and you was black, they don't care about you. You was fool. You you find me? Nah, he, they tell the Germans. They used to tell the Germans, he ain't, he ain't one of us. That's bad. Yeah, we used to go through. We used to go through things like that. We went through things like that as a black person. You heard? Nah, man, he, he ain't five percent. He ain't Muslim. Nah, we, nah, we don't got nothing in the German. You heard? They pff, out of here. That's bad. This is why when we did come about that we had beef with everybody because of that. We had beef with the Muslims. We had beef with we we didn't discriminate nothing. I didn't because of the way they was before we were strong. And then you know eventually when they see our presence and felt our presence. They joined the bandwagon, yo, huh? They took their kufi off. They took their, you know, you know, five percent is wore kufi with the tonsils, you know. You know, these dudes, you know, they 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 took their joint off and they joined force. They joined force. You know what I mean? You hear dudes in there, Prince and Shy 120 and all that. You know what I mean? Them dudes joined force because what they was living by wasn't as strong as what we was doing. This is why they converted. See, this is what people don't get. It's true. I ain't never was, you know, none of that. I was like, yeah, come on, you got to join force. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't sit around and let my peoples or my brothers have something done to them and, and nobody can't do nothing. Nah, man, we don't work like that. I ain't supposed to go down like that. So we had to make a statement, man. You know what I'm saying? God, I'm blessed that it's, it's not as bad as it, it's not as bad now. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's more respectable. You know, everybody gentlemen now. We all grown now. You know what I'm saying? The things in the trenches that we, we discovered. This is why we OGs and we talk about these things. So the younger generation is so sad. It's so sad to watch us as the older generation. We paved the way to make things better for them. And now they're taking it and they're using it against each other. This is what I don't no, I, This is what I don't like. We never was no, we never was no color banging type of people, man. We, we on the East Coast, son. We different, man. We don't color bang, man. If you black and you crap, we ain't color banging you, man. We not supposed to be doing all this stuff, man. You know, that's one thing I do respect about. I'm going to tell you something. I got to kiss that more effort because that's one thing CK did. CK made the Crips and the Bloods come together. I got to respect him. I got to tip my hat to him. I do, because he made fall. Because you, you gotta understand something. And Flatbush, that's Crip land, and he make a way for the Crips and the Bloods to communicate with each other and run a business and help everybody. That's why I respect him. You know what I'm saying? Besides Big Mouth, mm -mm, <laughs> one to two, swing your lips like seafood sometimes, you heard? <laughs> but I love him though. I love him for that. You know, I love him for that. You know? Besides that nigga getting my, you know what I'm saying, hit. But that I gotta get, tip my hat to CK. CK did a, a, a marvelous job. He's doing a good job by keeping a piece in that form by I gotta give it to him. You know what I mean? I tilt my hat to that. That's a whole fact. I tilt my hat to that. You know what I'm saying? A hybrid movement is about that, you know. And I respect that. It's one thing we got to tip our hats to. The bloods all over the world should respect that. Or one of the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how it is, but these on the East Coast got to respect that. That we don't color bang. And that's it. We don't do this, man. We got to uplift each other, our brothers. We got to show the younger generation. You know, and I, you know what I'm saying? That, you know. And like I said before, I, they still think on... Like I said before, things get misconstrued. 
Like I said, I said, yo, I made a video specifically talking about a person, somebody, I don't know who, I forgot the name of the person. He's like, yo, why rapos? You know, this fool and booty bands die. And I said, yo, I, I had broken down to him. It wasn't meant for nobody. It wasn't meant for it's not, that wasn't meant for it was far fetched for talking about I wasn't talking nowhere near about CK. That wasn't even thought in my mind until Wildcat brought it to me. It's like, yo, CK these are one. I was like, what the fuck? Huh? What? <laughs> but that's it, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's all over with, you know, Miss Unseen and you heard? You know what I mean? It definitely was. You heard? I definitely wanted to run down to Brooklyn though, you heard? Two pieces. <laughs> I'm fucking with her, y'all. That's my boy. But yo, man, shout out to Hybrid. Shout out to 212. Shout out to, shout out to, shout out to Hybrid. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And wish more endeavors and, you know, that. Make it more stronger. Make the, make the crip, you know what I'm saying? Make the crip and the blood thing more stronger, man. Unite all that together, man. Because that's what it's about, man. You know what I'm saying? Bloods and crip is about brotherhood, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's show examples. Let's, let's not color bang. We ain't trying to color bang. There's no such thing as color banging with us. Not with us OGs. We don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? You a brother. We have respect for you. We got respect for us. We ain't trying to promote no, 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 no color banging. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Leave that for the West and the East, the West side, man. And I don't even want that going on on the West side, man. They stopped that. I remember Malcolm X had a million man march over there. The stuff was going off so bad over there with the Bloods and the Crips that the, that um, um, Farrakhan went over there, Million Man March, and it was dudes from the East Coast went over there and joined the march, you know what I mean? Burned the Bloods and the Crips at a ceasefire. It was a ceasefire because I remember a war going on in the early 90s. 10, 20, 10 to 20 bodies a day for months on war. That was sad. You know what I mean? Black people and black families of that mourn the death of these people, man, of their sons, their they nieces, things that age. Women was getting killed too. Women got murdered. You know what I mean? Mothers got murdered because they was part of an organization. I mean, it was sad. All because of color. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Jummies in the house? Kill all rats, yeah. Kill a cab to bring his real his name, ring bells and Florida. Coroner, call the coroner, call the coroner, Florida. It's gonna be a lot of slow singing, flower binging. Hey yo, Steve and Richardson caught me Eugene. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, where my light at? Yo, Lisa. Fucking light at. Now nah, I'm done. On fire, shit going up in flames. Yo, get in, yo, Steven, yo, Steven, Steven going up in flames, y'all. Steven Richardson going up in flames. Yo, give him the fire, give him fire, y'all. Give Steven Richardson all fire. Yo, give me my, give me my lighter. No, no, no. Give me my lighter. No, no, no. Nah, they call me Eugene. Fuck that. Who did that? Somebody called. Oh, the whole chat called me Eugene. Give me my fuck. Yo, give me my fluid lighter. Don't do that. Nah, fuck that. Don't do that. Mom, now nah, I'm setting the whole. I'm setting the whole chat on fire. You heard? Hey, I'm gonna spray you. <laughs> I'm gonna spray you. You gonna spray me again? No. Yo, she sprayed. She did on me the last time. Give him fire, Stephen Richardson. Yo, Stephen Richardson, get fire. Burn it out. Yeah, man. Calling me Eugene, man. Your mom, yo, your motherfucking sister started. Queen Alicia started that shit. Word up. I salute, salute, GT. You heard? Appreciate you. You hear me? Yeah, we lit. We lit. We lit, man. Set that roof on fire. We don't need the roof. Remember that joint? The roof. The roof is on fire. We don't need no water, let the mother effer burn. Burn, mother effer, burn. <laughs> and kill a cat. If you could take a vacation anywhere in America, where are you going to 
Where you going, killer? If I could take a vacation anywhere in America, damn. Why? I don't like paying. I don't like planes, nigga. Vacation is going to be Brownsville. <laughs> <laughs> Brownsville, nigga. I'll put a motherfucking blow up bed, uh, air mattress right in front of the projects, you heard, with AKs. What are you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> That's my motherfucking destiny. This what are you doing? doing? Nothing, man. I ain't got no lighter. You, you, Chill out. You're about to. Nah, I ain't got no lighter. I can't find My lighter was up there. You took it. My torch. This right here? Give me this. Because I know you're about to do it. I ain't going to set nothing on fire, man. I want these old people running out here with their wheelchairs and shit. You heard? <laughs> young friends. Young friends. <laughs> they like four-wheelers and shit. You heard? Like, oh, they be crashing the lobby. Fire, fire, you heard? <laughs> they stop. Uh, I'm just joking. I love these old motherfuckers in here. They cool, you heard? Some retirement home, you heard? What the fuck? CO? I don't know where Queen Alicia... Oh, John Smith. Yo, John Smith. What's up, John Smith? You live for, you live for Queen Alicia? I'm going to give you the number. I'm going to give you a number. Shh. Keep that. Leave my sister alone. Your sister got my fucking name on here saying Eugene. Watch. Fuck that shit. Call him Eugene. They call me Eugene now. Y'all look like Eugene? Her name Maria. Y'all look like Eugene? Nah, no, son, I don't look like Eugene. You heard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they crazy. Well, huh? Well, I don't need Maria. Maria, where you at, Maria? That's her name. Queen Alicia Maria. Yes, that's how she got her name in the chat. Boom Invincible, what's up? Yo, Boom, do I look like Eugene Boom? Yo, tell, yo, talk to me, Boom. Yo, Boom Invincible, tell me if I look like Eugene. Yo, my mom snuck that shit in. I supposed to do a diaper out at that age, you heard? <laughs> yo, Ma, what, Eugene? <laughs> you heard? Do a <laughs> tookie diaper out of <laughs> Yo, Ma, you, <laughs> Ma, you fool, Ma. <laughs> Calling me Eugene. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yo, nah, I know. I don't look like no Eugene, right? I am, though. Fuck it. Kevin Eugene Davis, yeah? That's my government. See yo, get him. You fool, man. <laughs> what's good, Big GT? Word up. But well, what's good, man? Oh, there she go. John Smith. She just landed. Landed from orbit. Queen Alicia's in the house. Land from Army. Maria's in the house. Yo, Queen Alicia's in the house. John Smith, she here. She just landed. We just woke the dead up. Yo, you see her? They go Queen Alicia. You see her, right? <laughs> John Smith was just asking about Queen Alicia. Queen Alicia had just arrived <laughs> from out of space. <laughs> <laughs> Pink Sugar, what's up? They go my homie. Salute, yummy. Pink Sugar. Queen Alicia. Lisa Davis. Oh. Um, I know. I already know. If you took your meds, bro. Nah, man. You think I need to take my meds? Huh? Oh. Don't play with me, Eugene. Oh, we are they know that, y'all. Yo, you and your lunch break, right? Yo, everybody send her a hamburger. Everybody send her a hamburger. Yo, Queen Alicia, you're going to eat like 30 hamburgers right now. Everybody send Queen Alicia a hamburger. She on lunch break. Yeah. Hamburgers, hamburgers, hamburgers. Hamburgers, hamburgers. Yeah, eat that, Alicia. <laughs> send her hamburgers. They send her hamburgers. Yeah. That's all you're going to be shitting tonight. Hamburgers and buns. <laughs> hey, yo, Lisa, they sent her mad hamburgers. Yeah, send Queen Lisa hamburgers. All right. Yeah, man. 
<laughs> eat steak. My baby eat steak. Oh, you want to eat steak? Nah, she got to eat fruits and vegetables, you heard? Yeah, pancakes and all that, you heard? Grapes and, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Queen Lisa, now you got a good lunch, you heard? When you go back to, what, what time is it? You go back, when you go back to lunch, 9.30? You get off of lunch at 9.30. Pink sugar, what's that you just, what's that? What type of food is that? An eggplant? Pink sugar, what you gave her? All you fool. She said, all of us fool, you heard? Yo, what's that? Oh, that's salad. Oh, all right. Oh, that's salad? That's salad pink sugar? That's what's up. Oh, that's salad. Okay, okay. Goat. Is that a goat? Top shot, 56 to call. What's that, a goat? I'm happy that you're back out here in the world, my brother, man. Thank you, man. Script water, y'all. Appreciate you, man. But you know what? Um, um, Script water, man, I've been out here. I've been home since 2003. I ain't never been up north. I ain't been up north since then. I've been home since 2003. I've just been on, you know, you know. <clears throat> I had two books written about me while I was out. I had to go low. I don't know, the music industry stuff, the tip was crazy. Um, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I've I been out. I was just like on the low shit. You know, went to the feds back and forth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For a couple of years and shit, you know? But yeah, man, I'm solid. You know what I mean? What's A.B.? Follow the cake, thank you, yummy. Word up. OG Killer Cat on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. OG underscore killer underscore cat. Yeah, yo, you hear me, Stacy Stevens? Stacy Stevens, um, you know, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was actually the governor of California who who granted uh the execution on Tookie Williams. You know, that that kind of that kind of bugged me out because he had a lot of good supporters. He started writing baby books and he didn't kill, I don't think he killed kids or raped any kids or things of that nature, but you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger put him to sleep. They put him to sleep, you heard? You know what I mean? That book he got out actually is the author, um, Neil Long. Not Neil Long. Who's the author of that book? What's the book that they got about Tookie, man? Um, what's the name of that book again? I've had it. I read it. Yeah, John Smith Facts. Oh, the Veil the Book. I got that. Jesse Watson. I got that. That's my. You know what I mean? I was on the front. That's my book. The Ville. This is me right here. The Ville. See that book, The Ville? Cops and Kids in Urban America. This book is this me on the front cover in the blue and white Yankee hat. You heard? I was 19 years old. And at that time, I was on the run for two. Two. And I got the article. I got the two articles right here with me, Riddick Bowl. All right. This book came out. In 1993, but um, this book came out in 1993. Um, the author of this book, look, the author of this book is, uh, see this, this the author of the book. The author of this book is this dude. See that? Greg Donaldson, right? That's Greg Donaldson, right? I was on the front cover of this book. This book was the book, right, that led me to, listen to this. This is crazy. This book, we're going to do some history right now, you heard? This book, Cops and Kids in Urban America, led me to this article, right, in the Daily News for two homos. Now, I'm going to show you. 
I'm gonna show you this book, The Veil. I'm on the front cover. Now I got I got articles, newspaper articles of I show you. Well, you got, you know, that's why I gotta be, I gotta be careful about my, you know. Now the book, right? The book. When I got arrested, right? When I got arrested, right? For the book, right? I got mad articles about me in here. Oh man, this one right here is about. This is this is this this is a a they had a twenty four hour killing. Um, these are all the homicides that happened throughout the five boroughs. It's so easy to die for so little in New York. I was in this article too, and I show you I show you that later. You heard? I show you that in a minute. But I had two homos. I had this one, which was a drug related homicide, right? Books. Books got their neighborhood covered. And they talked about the Ville, right? Books got their neighborhood covered. All right? Now, listen to this, right? I'm going to show you. But the original article in the Daily News was this. Violence in the Ville. Don't you see Books got his neighborhood covered? I just took the picture of this, right? Because that's the article was about me, Right? You see, Ville, violence in the Ville. Violence in the Ville. Damn. Everybody got to show it this way. But yeah, violence in the Ville. You know what I mean? But my whole thing is this, right? They involuntarily took a picture of me at this time when I was on the run. They didn't know. They had no idea. I was on the run for two pieces. I say two pieces, you heard? I had two pieces, you heard? Two pieces, you heard? So when they came up to me and asked to take my picture in this book, which I didn't know at the time, I didn't know my book was on a cover. That's why I'm going to show you the article where they said Davis was furious that his picture was on the front cover of this book because that book was used as a wanted poster to have an arrest on me. So when a book came out, and I was still out because the, the author and the writer didn't know who I was. And he was escorted by detectives. They was undercovers, but they wasn't from Brook. I mean, they wasn't from uh, my jurisdiction. So they came up to us and they said, yo, man, can we take a picture of you? I said, and I said, man, I advise you to go somewhere else to take a picture, man. Before I break that mother effing camera. That's what I told him. You know what I mean? If I never saw that interview, that's what happened. You know what I mean? And he explained in the interview what I said to him. Told him to get the H up out of here. So what happened was, right? If you look at this picture, right? We're not even looking at it. We're not even posing for a camera. You understand what I'm saying? We're not posing for a camera. We're not posing for a camera. So what happened was, because I was on the run at the time for two pieces, this time. So now what happened was, right, what happened was, you know, we told him to get up out of here. Boom, boom. Beat it, you heard? So we take your camera, sell it, you heard? And they left. They've been his crew left. And they went walking right across the street because we was right in the middle of Brownsville, where OG product was, where the police were stationed at. And they went. And they paid a crackhead $10 or something to go in their apartment and have a view to our way where we were standing at. They paid a the crackhead and said, well, we need a view to take a picture of these dudes that's standing under that flagpole. We need that picture. And I'm going to tell you what happened. So a car drove down Dumont between Mother Gaston and Rockaway. It's Dumont, the heart of Brownsville. Car came. And the muffler went pop, 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 pop. And we all turned and looked. No gunshot, a pop muffler. And supposedly at that time, which I didn't know, 
They took our picture and it looked it like this. We all look. Right? I still didn't know because I'm still running. We didn't know until after maybe a month I'm on a run. Still for two pieces. I'm in Harlem. I'm in Broadway running around. My wife was shot. So we had to stay away from each other. The police was on her. It was on me. Things of that nature. It was crazy. It was it was crazy, man. You know, I, I was I was I was done. But um I was moving around and still trying to t conduct business as, as usual. But I moved around. And um I was in 96th Street in Broadway. And I went up there with a few dudes from Brownsville that was tight knit. You know, uh, we went up there and uh, we was at a um we was at a, a restaurant, you know, a Dominican restaurant, you know, and we was messing around. I ain't gonna lie, we, she know we was messing. We had a few girls up there that I was hiding out, you know, just hanging out, things of that nature. Went up there, boom, boom, ninety six and Broadway. I don't know if y'all know if the Barnes and Noble store is up there, but anyway, I want to have making a phone call to my mother. Want to making a phone call to my mother, and she told me that I was just on TV. On a six o'clock news. I said, what? She said, yeah. They got some book that came out and they circled your face on this book and said that we have a homicide suspect by the name of Kevin Davis that's featured on the front cover of this book that we need to apprehend. And the reward was 25000 So my mom said... They're looking for you, and they want 25 stacks. I said, I know you want 25 stacks, so it's time for me to say bye-bye. Boop, hung up on her, because she will get that 25 stacks, you heard? <laughs> so, you know, um, so now, now I'm on the run. But what happened was, there's a Barnes & Noble somewhere between 80 and 90 Second Street, 91st and Broadway was a Barnes and Nobles there. So, boom, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be nosy. This book's selling like she told me it's selling all over the world. Because Spike Lee wound up picking that book up because of the person that's in the book. But the book is not really about me. It's about, about me. It's East New York stuff in here. You know, they got all type of stuff in here. Jamaican Chris, Tut and all that. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. You know? I was on the front cover only. So, but make, make, make a long story short, I wound up Saying, yo, let's go to the bookstore. Where the bookstore at? And they wind up leading me to the bookstore. So I get to the door. The actual door. Like this. Boop. I see it. From here. Colorful. I see the veil. I see dudes. I just looked at it. I stood at the door like this. That's me. That motherfucker took my picture. Greg Donaldson took my picture. He took my picture. He did it. So I'm furious now. So, you know, people that were with me, they was like, what you looking at, sis? So, you know, they was like, oh, shit, that's you, KK. Oh, I had the same goddamn feline suit on I had on in his book. The same feline suit. They looked at me. I said, oh, $25,000 reward. I said, yo, come on, man. Let's go back to the joint. We went back to the restaurant. I see I'm going to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom, jumped out the window, haul dash, you heard? Pam, I was gone. <laughs> I never seen him again. I never seen him again. <laughs> Word. So then they got the article. Violence in the Ville, right? So I'm breaking it down for you. It's violence in the Ville. Now, I know you can't see it. I want to highlight it, but they got Mike Tyson and Riddick Bowe. They're talking about Mike Tyson. They're talking about fighters in Brownsville, and I was one of them. So, you know, they got me in an article. I'm, I'm, in this article that they called me, they called me a critic. See, this Brownsville, I don't know if y'all can see it, but if you can see, it's right here, right here where I'm pointing at, in this column right here. You see Mike Tyson, you see Riddick Ball, <clears throat> and they say you're like these other faces of Brownsville 
you know, boxing it. And then at the bottom it said, and also they got Kevin Davis. Kevin Davis, right? It said Kevin Davis. I had to highlight this one. Kevin Davis, right? Um, damn, Kevin Davis. It's backwards, right? Kevin Davis is also a critic in Brownsville. I'm going to read it to you. But the Ville has its critics. After they talk about, you know, Mike Tyson, though, they got, okay, now we go going there. Books got the neighborhood covered. What's she talking about? Brownsville. So then they go, the Ville has its critics. Kevin Davis and Reginald Hooper are among them. Davis wearing a New York Yankees cap and Hooper sporting a bandana. Reginald Hooper is on the front cover with the George with the with the bandana on. That's my co-defendant, right? Who was recently who was who got exonerated from the whole thing, right? So that's Reginald Hooper. That's my cousin. Davis wearing a New York Yankees cap, which is me, and Hooper sporting the bandana, which is him, on his head are featured prominently in the photo. On a book's cover jacket, a candid photo of a group of Brownsville youths taken at random. Shortly after the book's release last year, the two were picked up on drug charges and subsequently investigation tied them to homicide. And they were charged with both crimes, second degree murder. According to housing police, Davis and Hooper were furious that their faces appear on the cover of the book. Bing, true story, see? Everything is in black and white. We can't make this up, you heard? He, what the fuck, what the fuck? Can't make this up, you heard? All right. That's it. Well, it's not. I got another one, but it's 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 too bad. But I can't, I can't, I I can't, I can't, I can't. Huh. I gotta cover it. I don't want the name as disrespectful for the deceased. Yard, this is bad. Yard, what I'm gonna do is, this is what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna let y'all read the article. I'm gonna let y'all read this article because this is something that's, um, uh, it's too much sentimental, yard. So I'm going to cover it up, right? I don't want y'all to see the name of the deceased, you heard? Because it's respect, you know, even though, you heard? Now, if you can read that, I'm going to let you read. Y'all can read this. Take your time. You know what I mean? Was rough housing... The deceased was rough housing with a five-year-old kid in a lobby of an Amboy Street Brooklyn housing project. The little boy's aunt took exception and began fighting with the aunt's boyfriend. Look at me, uh, an amateur boxer named Kevin Killer Cab Davis, you know, shot someone 19 times, cops said. Davis lived up to his nickname, said a detective, okay? And that was one of my most... One of my most, you know, you know, that was domestic. That had nothing to do with drugs. It was a spare moment thing, which, you know, I felt someone violated a, a kid. The kid was only five years old. But there was more details to this than that. You know, the, 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 the child was, you know, kind of hurt. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I want to turn this back, you know, on the strip of the scene, you know. So I went upstate, wound up copping out to a good charge. And uh, yeah, man, you know, you know, I got anger issues too. Things of that nature. You know what I mean? So, you know, I just want to I mean <laughs> these dudes crazy. But yeah, you know, that's the past. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean?
Yeah, I know. That's why everybody say I'm bogged down. You think I overdid it? Probably so. But at my, my rage, at my rage, my, my rage comes to outrage, I'm, I'm so crazy, y'all. I'm unstoppable, y'all. I mean, I, I, but, you know, it's, it's a bad thing about it is that, you know, I carry that enrage in me, you know, for years. You know what I mean? You know, and it was, you know, I lived with it. So when I was in certain predicaments where it was that as to uh, um, I felt threatened to something, I took action. Win or lose. Kill me or I'll kill you. It was win or lose, kill you. You know what I'm saying? You know, the dude apparently in this uh, article wasn't no joke neither. Yeah. He wasn't no joke. But I had two homicides, a drug-related one, a domestic one. You know what I'm saying? You know, my name. Well, I, I, was, I was going on the street doing this for years, you heard? Since the 80s, you know? Known to do things, things of that nature. Oh, I got clapped a few times and lived, you heard? Of course, after you get clapped a few times and lived, it goes in your head, like, I can't die. You know, you start thinking crazy until somebody really blow your joint off. But it haven't happened yet, unfortunately, and I'm... Thank God, you know, I really thank God for that, you heard? So, you know, don't think, I think like, okay, it can't happen. Yes, it could, but this is why I am the way I am, because I know it can happen to me. So, therefore, that's why I'm always on the go. I can't help it. That's just me, you know what I'm saying? So, in any way, form or fashion, so, you know what I mean? These things are, but, you know, and then the book came out after I came home, the same author that I wrote, The Ville. He wrote the book, Zebra Town. All right? So, you know, that, that was good money. So, you know, and we're going to go into that. We're going to talk about a couple of chapters, but not now. Not now. Later on, we're going to go into my after, you know, because Zebra Town is where my life actually started. Because you got to remember something. When I was in prison, I had incorporated a lot of, I started learning how to read how to incorporate my reading and the meaning to life and how to walk, how to become educated, how to become very articulate. There were things, there were times where I, you know, I had a conversation with, and you know, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I used to practice my articulation with language with higher scholar people in prison. You know, I had people that worked in the library, the law library, I had Jerry the Jew. Jerry the Jew used to take, Bring home man. Y'all heard of Jerry the Jew. If you've been in prison, Jerry the Jew sent dudes went home for bodies. Messing with Jerry the Jew. God bless the dead. Jerry the Jew was a Jewish um, 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 prison lawyer who was nice. And he got me to um, take a, a, a legal exam. It was, it was, I think it was a 20 question legal exam, which I passed. And I got two wrong. But I had uh, the ability to learn how to. Um, 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 study law, and I did. You know what I mean? So I did. You know what I mean? I took I took a love to law when I went to prison. You know what I mean? I had studied books, the Soros dictionaries. You know, the dictionary taught me how to teach the legal language of talking, how to write out motions in legal ways, in legal terms. You know, how to talk to the judge, the DA, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? You had to learn some really legal words to incorporate a conversation with legal people. They didn't tolerate the, your language or your permanent, they didn't tolerate that type of language. So you had to learn and study the, and you had to incorporate these type of things in order to move. And you still got to incorporate these type of things in order to live out here. You can't talk ghetto to become a business partner, things of that nature with all type of people because you got to have a higher learning. It don't seem right in a category for you to talk your language to them when they talk a whole new different business language. So you got to be smart about how you adapt to a certain society. You do. It's not becoming, oh, you know, you're acting white, now you're talking white, KK. No, it's not talking white, man. It's being professional. You know what I mean? You got to incorporate these type of things. You got to take that hood back and you got to incorporate your business language, you heard? You got to do things in that way. You know what I mean? So, you know, people understand you. I think people respect you more. People respect you more when you talk their language. You know what I'm saying? They understand you more. There's ways that they can understand you when you can talk your own language too. In a way, if you don't have that much experience in talking business, that they can understand and they respect. That is no harm. Because speeches, speech can come out to a 
point to where is that it could be harmful or disrespectful to other people. You know what I mean? Especially if you come home and you want to go try to get a job. You come in like, yo, what's up? What the fuck? They're like, what? I'm like, yo, I don't understand the fucking question, you know? They're like, yo, get out of my mom's office, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to incorporate a lot of things, man. You know what I mean? It's a million things I can talk about. It's a million things I can say. You know what I'm saying? But you got to learn how you got to want it. You know what I'm saying? You got to want it. You know what I'm saying? A vision for a black man is real. Yo, yo, what's this sign? Yo, listen, I seen a thing, right? Listen, this is crazy. I seen a post that said the old slaves was killed to learn how to read. The new slaves doesn't want to read to live. Yeah, that was deep, right? Yo, let me say that again. Because I only read, I was like, damn, I, I like that. He said, the old slaves were killed to try to learn how to read. The new slaves, the new slaves don't want to read to live. Yeah, something like that. Super deep. The new slaves doesn't want to read to live. The old slaves was killed to live. They, killed, they was killed to learn how to read. But the new slaves nowadays don't want to read to live. They don't want to read to live. How you don't want to read to live? When we used to get killed to learn how to read. So now that we don't want to read, we can't live in a society. We're going to always become what? A subordinate to what? Slavery. Because that's what it is. If you hustle and you go on the street, and you're doing th that's slavery. This is what they want. They want your mindset to continue to be that way so they can what? They're going to give you the drugs to sell and they're going to put you away for life or they're going to you're going to die. So that's their way of extincting us without y'all even knowing. But go to college and try to go for a master's degree in art, a master's degree in doctorism or surgeons, things of that nature. Then you become a problem. Because that's an education we think that's just for them type of people. Hell no. Hell no. We are obligated to learn and teach what we put out and put forth in our life in order to win. We don't go, we don't get killed for trying to go to school to get a lawyer. We don't get killed for trying to go to school. That shit is over with, you heard? They're not doing that no more. We are free living. You can do the same thing. We can do the same thing. We're not supposed to look at this type of curriculum or this type of um, art or this type of say, nah, this ain't for blacks. This is for whites. We're not supposed to say things, but we think like that. What? Go to school and become what? Come police. Come a judge. Become a district attorney. Because you know when you you got you put yourself in these positions, this is how you play chess. When you put yourself in a position, become a judge, a pop, because now, now is it now you have the same regulations as them. And you can protect your peoples more. The more that we put ourselves in a predicament of being subordinate, meaning being lower. They gonna always be on top, on higher, and then we, we we that's what we do. We set ourselves up all the time for them to what do anything to us, take us, send us away, because we don't go take the time to come out and be educated to send them away, and we have the tools to send them away too, as well as they send us away. But we don't do it because we think, oh, that's for the white people. Are you stupid? It's not for the white people. It's for everybody now. That's why everybody comes to America. Yeah, that's why everybody comes to America. So we gotta start learning how to take advantage of the position. Cause this is chess now. It's not, it's not checkers no more. It's 2020. Everybody need to get in positions. I'm on my niece. My niece is Octavia Maynard. I'm on her so hard. 
That I feel as if though she's my daughter. She calls me every day, two nights a day. She just had a kid. She's going for a master's at LIU. And I said, what you going to do? So I don't want to work for the white man all my life. I'm going to get a nonprofit organization. And Uncle KK, I'm going to have you and mommy is my workers. I said, do it. Because I'm there. This is the type of stuff, because she's the only one in my whole entire generation that's fall. She's on the tip of the crown. She took it to another level. Octavia Maynard, ambitious state. She took life to, uh, I'm going to tell you something, she always had it good when she was young. You would think that when kids grow up with everything in their mouth, everything clothed, everything, that they become spoiled, they, they sometimes be the worst. She became greater, more appreciative. I've never seen nothing like that. I've never seen a kid that grow with everything, didn't have to struggle for nothing, and still act like she's poor and, and live in a beautiful condominium and, and got nothing but educated. Her friends is police officers. Her friends are CEOs. Her friends is lawyers. These girls is like 27, 28 years old, and that's, and she goes to countries with them. I'm mad right now because Puerto Rico just had an earthquake. Me and her beefing right now because they postponed her, her, they postponed her trip twice. And she's taking my nephew out there, and I don't want her to go. And I'm still begging her not to go. Puerto Rico, look at that trip. It's dangerous now. You have so much abundance in life. You know, I'm so close to her. My niece is my world. You know what I mean? You would think that's my daughter. And you would think I'm her father. Because she calls me more than her father. Her father's good money. You know what I'm saying? Her father's good money. That He worked on Mercedes-Benz trucks. He was my best friend since I was young. This is how him and my sister got together. But her, she grew up like a, a maniac. She grew up. Thorough, you know what I mean? So, you know, you would think that that's my daughter. She calls me every morning. I talk to my, my uh, she just had her first, her first son. So you know how she, she you know, she with him and everything. He got Gucci. Uh, um, um, they were talking about what she, she ordered the other day. Um, Alexander something. I ain't never heard of that. Alexander what? And Brosie some stuff. I, I looked at the price tag. I said, Alexander Four hundred thousand shoes, but she can afford it. She, Uncle KK, I ain't gonna spend nothing that's gonna make me broke. If I buy Alexander's four hundred dollar pair of shoes, that means I could buy three more pair. Okay, so stop worrying about me, Uncle KK. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> She's smart. No, <coughs> she's very smart. You know, and she only know Lisa. You heard? I can't even sneak nobody in them. Not that I try. I mean, she didn't want to see me with no girl but her. You heard? That's a fact. She tell it. She is a She told me I'm Tweety Bird. Try me. I can't even talk on the phone. Who you talking to, Uncle KK? I was like, you ain't better talking to my mother. Oh, because you know. I said, yeah, yeah, man, it's over. You heard? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's crazy, you heard? <laughs> Word up. But yeah. I love my daughter. I love my. I said, I said, I love my daughter. That's my daughter too. And I told her father. I said, that's my. Kid. She said, you know, I hear her father say, yeah, she loved you, because I spoiled her since she was a baby. Her, and my little brother. You know, I had her since she was a baby. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I was 21 years old, 19 when she was born, and just my baby. You know what I mean? And I spoiled her. You know what I'm saying? Took her everywhere with me, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So you know, but she turned out to be a very outstanding individual. And, and I'm proud of her. Shout her out, you heard? Octavia Maynard, ambitious stay, man. Shout her out, man. That's a good girl, you heard? That's a fact. I'm proud of her. You know what I mean? She took the iceberg in my whole entire generation. Ain't nobody took education that far. Nobody. Nobody did on her father's side or mother's side. She broke a record, girl. <laughs> and everybody like, word. She like Queen Elizabeth and a whole generation on father's side and mother's side. You know what I mean? 
But she's she some reason, some reason, she just she for some reason she grab she she gravitates to me every day before she go to sleep. Uncle Cake, Uncle Cake, Uncle Cake. I'm like what? And we fall asleep on each other like this on the phone. What? Uh, look at that movie. Uh, you heard? I talked to I play with my nephew, I FaceTime him. Uh, about, you know, I get bored sometimes. I go downtown and go downtown and grab my nephew up, take him riding around the building, you heard? Because you know the building got all type of playrooms in it, things of that nature. I go play with him, go to the movie theater inside the building. They got all type of stuff in there, you heard? They got a dog yard in there. Very expensive, very expensive um, building. But yeah, man, so you know, I'm proud of her, man, you know? And she loves me, and she's proud of me. You know, she's happy about the things I'm doing. You know, she know I ain't out there doing what I used to do, you heard? So, you know, that's a, that's a blessing. I ain't out there doing it, getting in trouble, because I don't want to miss no good days. You know what I'm saying? I want to stay and be vigilant with my family, with the peoples, you know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying life, you know what I mean? So everything is beautiful, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is what it's about. It's 2020, man. We got to get it together. Yeah, salute to the queen, man. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. You heard? Yeah, I am proud of myself, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely proud of myself, man. She said, bring her home? I. Right. <laughs> I'm only bringing females home, you heard? You heard? I got pink sugar. I got yummy. I got Queen Alicia. I got uh, Lisa, I got my wife, I got Veronica. They all got the you fool shirts too. They all got you fool shirts, man. Every time I put it up, but you know, they be like, yeah, KK, every time I put their shirts up or their pictures, you got every, you got all these followers following me. I said, yes, yeah, what happened? They gonna follow you now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna happen. But yeah. You heard? I want to get some shirts that says you fool, you heard? No, nah, not you fool. Um, I want to get shirts that got food on it. Like the Fruit of Balloons, but the, you know the Fruit of Balloons? You used to wear the Fruit of Balloons, right? And the booty huggers? The booty huggers? You know the booty huggers just be stuck in your butt? Boot stains be in your shit? You remember those shits, right? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Man, boot stains your shit like a street. The streak being your joint, you heard back in the day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. These know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you ain't had a dirty butt. Everybody had a dirty butt. Crazy. I had mad streaks in my joints, you heard? Flies going, I'm looking at my joints like, oh, yo, what's up? Yeah, son. You heard? <laughs> 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 He's like, you can't get full. I keep you feeling. Y'all yeah. niggas know what I'm talking about, right? You can do these things in your joint, you heard? <laughs> like, you never had do these things. Nigga, I had men do these things in my joint. But Spider Man, Superman, Hulk underwears, you heard? Screak! Screak! Doogie butt. Hey, <laughs> y'all think so? Y'all about to get off this shit, man. Word up, man. I'm about to be out of here. Let me go in here and spend some time with my wifey. You heard? Go wrestle with her. Boop. My stomach ain't hurting. My stomach was hurt for a couple of days, man. I want to take her to the hospital. I kept pressing her. They want to go to the hospital. Go to the hospital, man. You know? Because she's not doing too good, man. You know? Her kidneys and her liver is blowing up, man. I don't, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm up, man. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Word, right, man. I just hope she, you know what I'm saying? She all right, man. But um yeah man so you know she said she feel better after she took a uh, what you call those baths you put that salt and stuff in it you know one of them shits Epsom salt she put the Epsom salt in it man Bill Goody man thank you for the donation man I appreciate you y'all Dave Johnson what's up man all right again Billy Goody Bill Goody man appreciate the donation man so yeah man I'm about to take the time out you know uh you know um. You know, get off the phone, man. I've been on here too long. I think I overdid it. I should have overdid it like this, you heard? But y'all niggas had me in the zone. I had to go through all type of stuff and stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yo, thank y'all.
Appreciate y'all. Let me get the last coat up for everybody. Coat up. Come on, man. Coat up. Coat up. Coat up. <laughs> Born visible, man. Thank you for your donation as well. You know what I mean? I appreciate you. Uh, Bill Goody, I appreciate you. Um, you know, whoever donated, I forgot the names, but yeah, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all. Um, yeah, man. Coat up, man. Yummy you know I mean? coat up, man. Appreciate you for coming in late. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's short on your check, y'all. You yeah, your, your check gonna be short this week, y'all. Y'all, yummy. You know what I mean? Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, man. Follow KK on IG. Yeah, OG underscore killer underscore gram. That's my that's my that's my new Instagram. You know, unfortunately, my old one got taken down. Had so much thousands of followers. You know what I'm saying? But I got some of them back. I got shoot. I got Lloyd Banks. I got Shannon Briggs. I got a couple stars still on my joint. I gotta get low. I gotta get low. Um, um, what's his name? My little man back, man. Little James. Little James Tucker, man. I gotta get him back on my highest ranking. Billy KK. No doubt. No doubt. No fast. You know what I'm saying? Everybody full bar. But yeah, man, I gotta get my little man James Tucker back, man. I like that kid, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, man, I gotta get a. I, I'm still, you know, getting a little couple of people follow up, things of that nature. I ain't really too hard on Instagram, you know what I mean? I put a video up of me and Queens Flip, right? They told me I gotta take it down. They took it down. You know what I mean? And I didn't even say nothing. I said, yo, this is not. I like everybody got die. I was talking about the riot in Attica, so I gotta. Email, yo, poop, yo, you got to take this. We don't follow the. I said, what? But Queen Flip got the same video all about guys. I'm talking about the police, the right of the police in Attica. So they told me to take it down. So I know they on me. They watching me, you heard? So I got to be, you know, man, I got to just be more careful. I know I'm, I, I got to say this, and I'm not bragging myself, bigging myself up, and I got to watch myself more because I know that the validity of my criminal history and out here now, and the influence that I got on people makes me more that more dangerous in society. So they own me more. They own me more than CK. They own me more than Wildcat. They own me more. I know they watch it because I got that influence on people. Not to brag about that. It's not a good thing because now they trying to find some a reason for me to they reversing the positivity into negativity. And this is what they doing. You know what I'm saying? This is what they doing now. So I got to be mindful about it. They do play dirty games. They play tricks like that. You know, like I'm promoting violence. I'm not out here selling drugs. I'm not out here robbing and sticking people. I'm not out here killing people. I ain't doing none of that. They don't got no reason to keep on, oh, man. It's just recreation. But it's education learning at the same time. I'm giving the young, I'm giving the young people some, some type of sense of, you know, um, 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 positivity. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if I give my views on something bad, they dig me for that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I try not to, you know, feed into it. When they tell me to take a post down or they, you know, I feel like it's as though they taking a picture on my phone like right now. This shit be blinking and shit be like this nigga's taking pictures of me and shit. You know what I mean? So I never like iPhones. I told Flip, if I go down, I'm breaking his phone, you heard? <laughs> but I'm buffing it. You heard? I'm a buff it, you heard? And I'm suffocated, you hear me? That's <laughs> what's fact. But yo, man, um, yeah, shout out to y'all. You heard? Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. You know what I mean? It was nice talking to y'all. You hear me? Um, thank you for the donations. Thank you for the ears. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the soul. Thank you for the lemon water. I appreciate y'all. Buff it. HFC 300. I buffed this shit, you heard? I buffed it, you heard? <laughs> Dave Johnson said, this is crazy. Buffed this whole shit, man. Now I'm like, motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, iPhone gonna be my downfall, you heard? iPhone gonna be my downfall, you heard? Told Queen Alicia, she, she off a break right now. She, yo, she still got hamburgers and cheeseburgers left, you heard? And she got a salad on the floor, you heard? She gonna eat it when she get off of work. Learn it up. All right, man. Let me get up off of here. I'll see y'all later. Boop, boop, boop. Love y'all, y'all.
Stay tuned, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably talk about, I want to read some chapters in my book, Zebra Town, because there's so much stories. I got so much stories, man, when I came home and how I was moving, man. But I'm going to get into it, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give y'all my soul, girl. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, once again, man, shout out to Mary Machete. Shout out to Pirate. They did the HBO documentary in, you know, in Midtown today. I don't know I'm supposed to have went, but I told him I had to change your mind because it, it, it was late for me to get the ticket. But then they wound up getting the ticket for me, told me to come. But I was like, already I had my mom made up to do, you know, um, the YouTube channel. So I told him, well, next time, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to try to work together you know, collectively, you know what I'm saying? Because we are some high icons and, you know, we got a, you know, we got a reputation to withhold, and you know we can make a difference to a lot of people on TV more than on YouTube. You know what I mean? We're trying to make this TV thing go berserk. I know YouTube is all right, but you get that TV, you know, you get these series and things of that nature. You know, on our life, you know, reentry from prison, you know, get into the reentry program, things of that nature. It brings out a much, a much more significant. Um, ideology. So this is what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? All right. Stay tuned. Stay up. Stay love. Girl, that's it, man. Salute. Boom. Blood love. No, not blood. No, no. What? You not blood. What? Honorable man. Yo, get that nigga Franks. Get that nigga Franks. I'm not blood, so no love. Give him Franks. Leave him out of the face. Get honorable. That's his name. Honorable. Give him Franks, y'all. Frank, 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 Frank. Yo. <laughs> Word.